Good morning, everybody. It is good to be with you. Um, as you know, on Mondays, because I can't be with people from the church school, on Mondays we're going to read a book together so that we get a chance to see one another's faces. And if you're home with your parents, you get to do something with somebody else for a little bit, maybe give your parents a break. So it's exciting to get to see you. I can't actually see you, but I'm thinking about all your faces, thinking about all the Falmouth Congregational Church, church school faces um, who I miss so much. Your church family is thinking about you and we are hoping that you are um, having fun and adjusting well to this new time and this new schedule. So today I'm going to read to you one of my very favorite books um, called The Runaway Bunny. And the author is Margaret Wise Brown. The person who made the pictures, the person who drew all the pictures, um, who is called an illustrator, a big word to say that is illustrator, is Clement Hurd. And there are really beautiful pictures in this book. So if you are watching live, you can put your name in the comments and I will say a special hello to you. But otherwise, I know a lot of people are going to be watching this after. I know this is kind of nap time. So I heard from a couple people. So this maybe is an after nap treat. All right, let's read this book together. It's called, this is the title page, The Runaway Bunny. Here's another title page, The Runaway Bunny. All right. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I'm running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you. For you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. And here he is. He is a fish in a trout stream swimming with the fishies. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisher person and I will fish for you. There she is with her boots. She's going to get that little bunny. And here's a big colored illustration of her fishing for her little bunny. Can you see the mommy bunny? And what does she have? She has a carrot on the end of her fishing rod. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh. If you become a fisher person, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on a mountain high above you. Here he is being a rock on a mountain. If you become a rock on a mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. There she is, she's setting out to climb a mountain. And here's a big colored picture of her climbing this mountain. <laughs> Going on an adventure. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will become a gardener and I will find you. I'm just gonna show you the colored pictures because I think they show up better. Here they 
here she is. That's the mother bunny. She's going out to those crocuses, all of those flowers. And can you see, can you find the bunny in this picture? It's kind of hard to find, but if you have a grown up, they might be able to help you. He's right in the middle of a flower. His mom's gonna find him in the garden. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and I will fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be the tree that you come home to. This was one of my very favorite pages when I was little. Do you see that this bunny has wings? And then he's flying right home to his mother bunny, who's a tree. Isn't that beautiful? If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and I will blow you where I want you to go. Here he is. Do you see how his ears have become sails? But the mother bunny says, she's going to blow him right home to the safety of his house. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and I will fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to get to you. There's, there's the bunny swinging, but his mother is coming to get him walking across the air. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and I'll run into the house. If you become a little boy and you run into the house, said the mother bunny. I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. And there they are by the fire back in their own house and she has caught him in her arms and she is giving him a hug. Shucks, said the bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said his mother. There they are, snug and warm and eating a carrot in their own house. And that is the end of our story. So if you are somewhere inside with your parents and you're spending a lot of time with them, maybe this book can help you remember how much they love you, how much your family loves you, and how no matter where you go, their love will follow you. Even if you became a sailboat or a tree or a tightrope walker, your family would find ways to love you and care for you. And so would your church family. And so, because I can't get to you, I'm becoming a uh, computer video <laughs> so that I can read to you uh, today. So anyway, we are sending you our love. We're very, very proud of you for being so patient um, and for making all of these changes. We think you're very brave. And um, we will see you uh, next week. And Miss Kristen has also uh, made you some videos for church school this week. So we hope you enjoy those. And we are wrapping you in our prayer and our love. And I will see you all soon.